Hi, this is Linda with Talent TV Productions. I'm here with Young Kim. He's a volunteer at the Asians on Film Festival. Uh, tell us, what are you? What's your role here right now? Uh, a little bit of videography, a little bit of photography. Uh, kind of jack of all trades, king of none right now. Um, so whatever they had me, the, uh, whatever they had they need to have me to do, basically. What is it that you like to do? What's your passion or your career? Uh, filmmaking. Uh, obviously, I want to write and direct my own pictures. Um, right now, I'm currently working on a project um, about a classical pianist who has dreams of his teeth falling out. Then he falls in love with the escort, teaches her how to play the piano, and uh, they have a happy life together. Do you uh, play the piano? I do. I used to play in third grade. I kind of stopped a little bit recently. Do you know. have dreams of your teeth falling out? Oh, I used to have dreams of my teeth falling out all the time. All so the time. this is sort of a biography? A little bit of a biography, a yeah. Biography, I guess, yeah. Minus the escorts, or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I won't ask you that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what, where has that film gone, or what's, your, what's the next step with that? Is that what you're working on right now? Right, right. Okay, I know you mentioned earlier you had a film that, you, that uh, was on Netflix and iTunes. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? What's, like, if somebody wanted to do that, what, what would be the steps, I guess, for them? iTunes, um, if you want to go through iTunes, go through an aggregator, like um, a digital services company that kind of packages your content for you, and then they'll send it out to you. Um, iTunes is very picky with audio phasing, so make sure you have your post sound all taken care of. Uh, Netflix is mostly with either through film festivals or agencies or any kind of representation. Um, it's a little bit harder to get your stuff on iTunes or Netflix to an aggregator, so just keep on making short films and just hope to get signed by somebody. Uh, so can you say that again? <laughs> so aggregator? What is it? It's kind of like almost like a third party um, service that gets your films on digital distribution for you, whether it's iTunes, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, places like that. How do you do that? I mean, is it something you go online? Is it a lot of money that you have to pay? Or I mean, yeah, I mean, it adds up. You know, you have to pay for obviously your movie poster artwork, the actual content itself, and then there's all this metadata and all this stuff you have to kind of organize. And then they kind of do all the hard work for you. You just ask, give them what they ask for, and then just pay a nominal fee, and then just hope it works out the way you want it to. Wonderful. What is the name of your film? Uh, Sophie's Pianist. Uh, no, I mean the one that was on iTunes or Netflix. Oh, oh that, is that the one? No, that's what you're working on. That's what I'm working on. Right now. That's the one you're working on now. Okay, Sophie's Piano is now. And then what? Which one is? What's the name of the one that's on Netflix? It's, uh, Mystery Pure Books. It's good. What's that about? It's about a bookstore. It's a first edition bookstore that only sells like old classic books. These are like books that are hundred thousand dollars, like 16th century Machiavelli books, oh, Shakespeare, wow. things like that. So we're hoping to hope to get some more revenue from there. How did you find the location for that? Did you actually use like a, you know, a bookstore? Uh, yeah, I actually, when I moved to LA last year, I just kind of wandered around and I found the bookstore. It's kind of in a little cranny and a little nook. So I decided to walk in and then I was just blown away by, you know, what they have in there. So I just felt like it needed to be, you know, kind of out there and more well known. They let you film there? They yeah, they let, they let me film there. Um, a lot of celebrities, you know, a lot of high-end celebrities buy books there. Um, Wait, what did you say it was called or did you? Mystery Pier Books. Yeah, it's on Sunset Boulevard. Okay. Oh, I think I wonder if I've seen that before. Yeah, it's right next to the book soup. Right next to the book oh, soup. Okay. Yeah. Okay.